guys, amazing job on this film. I absolutely loved it. I was like on the edge of my seat this whole time. Uh, first thing first, Patrick, typically thrillers, uh, thrillers like these are usually tightly scripted pieces. However, you've spoken about um, about how, how you use the improvisational approach to shooting these scenes. Uh, how did that improve or help uh, heighten the tension? You know, it's like when I put, um, you know, I try to put a lot of pressure like during filming, like because um, when when this um, the scenes happen, you know, um, everything all bangs on the door. They are real. You know, the actors uh, outside of the door, they are there. You know, it's not just something um, Joseph had uh, to imagine. But they were there and they could interact with each other, you know, and they were running like we were running for like 30, 40 minutes, you know, and there I knew that we created scenes that of course are very intense and I try to make it even more intense into really let the actors uh, on both sides of the door really feel these moments and really feel the threats and really feel the danger, what's going on and not just like imagine um, this, um, you know, putting them really into the situation. Sure. Now, Joseph, one of the coolest perks about being an actor is you get to learn a lot of new skills. Um, it seemed that spending a lot of time uh, on airplane simulators and having a co-star that was an actual pilot could only help that research. Can you tell me about your education on set? Sure, well, this movie was a lot about realism and we wanted to get all the technical pilot stuff as right as we could and we put a lot of effort into it. And like you said, the, the actor who was playing the captain of the plane, he was actually a real pilot. He flew for Lufthansa Airlines for many, many years. Carlo, um, really wonderful guy, but the, that was not the challenging part of this movie. And and I'm not exaggerating when I say this was probably the most challenging acting I've ever done. Uh, but the, the hard part of this had to do with the way that Patrick shoots is unlike any way that I've ever shot a movie before. And I've shot a lot of movies before. Um, and it's all geared towards the actors being able to, as much as possible, really immerse themselves right. in the story and you know normally when you're shooting a movie there's all these technical things you have to do and yes you do your best to stay true to the character but ultimately you you have to stand on this little piece of tape on the floor so that the camera hits you right and the lights hit you right you have to do the same thing over and over and over and over again and uh patrick just strips all of that away wow. so you can just be he just like he says he lets the camera roll and you just are there and we were portraying a really intense situation. So being very realistically immersed in that situation was challenging and hard and, and brutal at times, but really rewarding and, and unlike anything I've ever experienced as an actor. You know, piggybacking on that answer, um, this, the, the entirety of this movie is pretty much shot in small places. How does that challenge you as an actor? And for Patrick, how does the tight quarters of an airplane set help increase those elements? You know, I, I really want to put in like the actors into this and the audience with the actor and with the camera into this confined space. Um, I really, you know, it's an actual airplane. We bought that. So it's a it's a real, you know, it's it's as big as it is in the movie. So it's it's really like claustrophobic. And I really want to get this feeling through through the camera to the audience and lock the audience with the character uh, inside of this cockpit and really not give him the opportunity to leave. And uh, if you watch the movie, you cannot leave the cockpit. You, you cannot go away there. And, you know, this is, um, you know, this is maybe a challenge to watch. 